chase invisible fucking rogues. Hello. Right, folks. Welcome to Heavyweight Gaming. Sorry for the delayed start. We're waiting for one of our players. When he returns, well, he'll be back. So. Hello, everybody. Um, <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it's been so long since we played Carbon. Uh, real life's got in the way. The plague's a pain in the ass, and here we are. Ooh, so local oh, man, COVID, pain in ass. <laughs> <laughs> we are an RPG channel, and we play lots and lots of tabletops and RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, uh, and tonight specifically Carbon Twenty One Eighty Five, which is a game created by Dragon Turtle Games. Um, the laughing children in the background are totally ambient. And they'll be in bed soon, bastards. But we play lots of tabletops when playing Carbon tonight. So join us for session 22 as we see how this lot fare against uh, their death fest on Mars. So, social media. We are all over social media. Please feel free to go and check us out and follow us and all that good stuff. If you want to do, 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 go on our Patreon page and throw a few quid at us, we'll gladly take it and throw it at stuff on the channel. We use Sirenscape for all the background music and stuff. Um, so you will hear stuff in the back. I'm just going to beat the kids on. <laughs> Boys, be quiet, please. Stop laughing at babies, all right? Try to be a millionaire, eh? Right? Try to be famous. You little kippers laughing at babies. I'm going to sort your lives out. You're right, get a job. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know if this is great parenting or awful. It's, like, it's definitely in that weird boat. <laughs> What was I saying? Oh this is an over 18 street. <laughs> so, I think young children to get out and get a job, I think. <laughs> well, yeah, they're right now. Nearly double figures, man. Should have wife and kids soon. So, <laughs> we um, we do stuff that's geeky with dice. There you go. Right, we've got Sun Skate for background music. If you throw 200 bits at the show, this lot get a free re roll and they'll spend it on their um, attempts to try and shoot these bad guys in the face, just like that Dwarf Warrior out of nowhere. Thank you very much, Dwarf Warrior. Keeping the kids fed. Well played. What we got? We've got Sirenscape. That's done. Sponsors. We are sponsored by Dragon Turtle Games. Creators of the game. If you go to their website and buy stuff from them and put the code WAIT, W-A-I-T-E, in at checkout, you get 10% off. Boom. Nice. Lovely. Beautiful. They are, they've they just released Terminal Overdrive. Well, I said just released. It's about to be dropping so people can grab it and such. There is a link that maybe Sawdust can provide. If you've missed the Kickstarter, you can uh, still get it. We will be running Terminal Overdrive when we finish this arc. That does not mean they'll all die tonight and we'll start it next week. It means they'll all die next week and we'll start it the week after <laughs> when I've read it. <laughs> but um, So yeah, so look out for that. They also, Dragon Turtle Games, have a Kickstarter coming up in... I've forgotten the month, but it's towards the middle, maybe second, third. Uh, it's uh, June, isn't it? Is it June? The Solar Punk? I think it's June. There you go. So middle of the year, June-ish. They're going to be releasing their Solar Punk Kickstarter, so go check Dragon Turtle Games out. They're on Facebook, all sorts. You'll get their Solar Punk stuff. Solar Punk is basically the uh, opposite of Cyberpunk. It's not dystopian; it's utopian. Um, so yeah, so go check that out. The tokens you will see us use, the little chibi tokens, are from an artist called uh, Coyote Gray, who you can find on Roll Twenty. Um, they're pretty cool. He's just released his first Cyberpunk token set. I bought it, and we're using it. He also sponsors our fantasy uh, RPG shows. The battle mats are used by Loki Battle Mats, which you will see their little logo pop up when we get to Roll20, which we use for our virtual table topping. If you check them out, they're all over Facebook and Twitter, Loki Battle Mats. Um, go looking for Kyoto Grey and stuff. You will see some fantastic artwork, some both map and chibi. Uh, they're amazing. They do virtual versions and real life versions, so you can just flip out a book on the table and you've got some cool as fudge uh, maps and mats to play your battles on. They just released Towns and Taverns and they're doing another Kickstarter which I think is going live almost imminently um, called Wilderness which is exactly what it says on the tin. So yes and not really a sponsor but someone I've been speaking to and I'm looking to looking forward to doing a bit of collab stuff with them and you know bringing on and their maps is called Frag Maps. Um, so hopefully, as of next week, you'll start seeing their maps used on the channel as well. They are 3D in nature. If you go check out Frag Maps on um, Twitter or Facebook, Twitter's probably the better one that he likes to use. They are properly stunning. Like, I cannot wait. They're such a cool 
uh, vision on a piece of artwork to use as these maps for the Cyberpunk games. So they're just cool. Just go check them out. Right, so let's have a. Do we want to crack on? Yeah. We got a James. We have got a James. Fantastic. Have we got a James? No, we haven't got a James. No, no, we, no, got a James. no we haven't got a James. No. Uh, sorry, I got mixed up by the uh, the bald Confu people. Did you confuse the <laughs> chair what? with James? No, but three out of the four of us are bald and bearded. So if one of us goes missing, it's hard to tell which one. So. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. I, mean, I don't want to be beardist, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be beardist, but you're all bastards. There is definitely a look in the top four frames on here, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> That's, That's why confused me. We've got uh, Lauren, Lauren and... Uh, Nerf to bring the. Uh... Well, it's because it's a bit on. It's because what confused me was James is in the top right hand corner on Zoom, and well, then top I saw left on a bald bearded person in the top right hand corner on your uh, <laughs> Twitch channel, and it but it was Rob. So. We're just waiting for you to catch up, mate. But you're holding out on us. I, I don't want to see Nerf picked. It'll look weird. Yeah, that show, I shaved earlier, so you'd have to wait like a week for me to get my beard. <laughs> a we week. Flip You'll be there in two up, days, last. We can just flip your camera upside down. <laughs> right, so... Right. Don't really want to fight without him. Do you want to drop him a message online or something? Yeah. I was just... Uh, I was actually just doing that. I was just uh, oh. finding on Facebook and dropping him a message. Yeah. Right. I'm going to play... Ooh. So the background mu music that you can hear now, hopefully, I don't know if it's too loud, is through Sirenscape. So hopefully the chat can hear it. While we're trying to get out of James, you lot got any uh, any questions you want for this lot? I'll tell you what I can do. I think the music can go a little louder, actually. Louder? Well, we could, you know, this is, I mean, this is lockdown now, right? This is, we should be looking after people's, we could do like a live workout as well. We could get everyone involved in a bit of a live workout. We'll do some sports. Or we could do like a headspace, some like meditation. Okay, so. Your workout suggesting what we do reps of something or squat for yeah, us yeah. or go for a run. Right, cool. If you can all start benching the transit van next year, I could use that. Right, then see, see, yeah. Lauren, Lauren, go. If you start working out on stream, I'm pretty sure my viewers will go. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, probably a lot more than if me and Nave started busting out some, you know, five, five enders. So, which is an exercise I've just made up. So. Uh, yeah. Are they called Thigh Busters? Oh, there you go. If we did a workout, I'll donate more us. if she does. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> At least you're subtle, Dwarf Warrior. Well, he's better than his roleplay. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dots <laughs> fired. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think Dave's ever worked out in his life. <laughs> If you're having to think about it, Dave, it's probably, you know. To be fair, Dave's, I mean, what might get Dave working out is I've just bought a jacket off him that he used to wear, I think, so, you know. Jesus, really? Jesus did Christ. Did you, ever, did you ever actually wear that coat, Dave, or not? No. I can't hear you, Dave, it's... if you're talking, by the way. Dead, Dave. It's dead, Dave. It's dead. Dave's dead. Dead, Dave. Can't hear me. Mouth's moving, not getting out. Uh -oh. Oh, he oh, froze oh, oh. <laughs> That's not froze, it's just a vacant expression. Oh, he's, broke it. he's broke it. <clears throat> you said the music, is the music quite quiet on the stream? It's uh, loud as fuck on my side. It's really quiet on the stream. Oh, no, it's fine on the stream, yeah. It's very dramatic. He said, oh, of course it's very dramatic. You're having a fight. <laughs> Alright, turn it down. Turn it down a little bit. Right, email. Chase is dead, you can't bring him back. You had your chance. I mean, what? We want Chase. We, we want, want Chase. Chase. <laughs> we want Chase. Well, there was those Chase looking buggers in the other room, weren't there? Well, Alex, yeah, they just, just, just got the one. We'll just upload his consciousness from one of the nanites that's in the wall. That'd be a that'd be a total convenient plot loop. Upload him into <laughs> Ron Krex's body. Let's go. 
Yeah, to be honest, on Chase. <laughs> it's, it, what happened if we put this in one of these bodies? I mean, you know. Wow, look at that. Old yeah. carbon, baby. Old what are the carbon. odds? <laughs> right, well, we're going to have to do something. I'm not worried. Yeah, he's, he's, not, do we know? he's not replied on Facebook, mate. He's, uh, he's not even read the message. And I've got his phone number. I have, but he's in Guernsey, and it'll cost me like 30, well, it cost me 68 quid last time I run Guernsey. Let's have a look. That, yeah. How and long were the phone for? Four minutes. <laughs> you were ridiculous. Jesus Christ. I thought it was... We're out of the EU now. He's like practically... Uh, I was on a while. I was on a while. I was on a while. Probably needs a visa to well, class this. Well, if he's on his phone, mate, he ain't going to answer, is he? I don't know if he's on very, his phone. It's yeah. a very good point. He answered his phone. I do have a number for him. I'll text message him just so I don't interrupt his call. He is, um, uh, I mean, he's on Facebook, so I'd, I'd guess he's wherever he is, he's running around on his phone, I think. Right, entertain the chat. <laughs> Dave's mic's still dead. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, this is going well tonight. I love, I love that the futuristic cyberpunk stream <laughs> can't work tech. <laughs> We could do a bit of we could do a bit of karaoke. We could do a little sing along. What what song do we all know the words to? Uh, happy birthday! I'm out. Oh, well, let's go. Who we wish you happy birthday to? Well, me and three. Days. birthday is it? Three days. My birthday. Three days. Is it, it's your birthday. It's three days, mate. If you, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's but it is. It is. <laughs> Not looking bad. Fifty-two. Oh, that's what your mum says. You. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're, I think you're younger than me, aren't you, dude? Yeah, I'll be 39 yeah. on there. Uh, yeah, 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 you're younger than me. Uh, yeah. Twice as heavy now, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, I, get, I get way to the end of the month, and I'm hoping it starts with a 16. Jeez. But last time I was 16 stone, I was our Dom's age. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm, I'm going to be in the York press. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You're going to be in the New York there. press? No, I'm going to be in the York, York press. Oh, York press. That's yeah, less, the, less uh, exciting. <laughs> less exciting. But the, uh, oh, somewhere. The, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, reporter interviewed me on Monday. Oh, yay. I, I've, got, I've got to ask, right? <laughs> Is it because you of the weight the loss? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. like, if you were like, oh, wait, oh, you win for the trip. No, no, no. I, mean, I just, I just, I won an award for like a bad picture or something. I'm like, <laughs> no, it's a captured contest. It'd have been amazing. Yeah. So I'm saying 3 1 to Liverpool next week. Ooh, no need for that, is it? Anyone joining this stream that thinks they've come to watch a cyberpunk game? You're saying 3 1 now, but how much money you will have put in? Because I'll, uh, I'll definitely see that bet. Ain't no chance in hell that Liverpool team spells the goals against the top. Done. Take credit, it will not be 3 1. Easiest ten quid you've made all week. I was just saying, I was going. I mean, you know, we'll donate it to charity if I win. I'd use it to buy a really big card saying "Told you so" to send back to him. <laughs> uh, James said he will be here soon. I told him we'll work. Oh, it's sweet. No, it's good, good. All right, it gives okay. me more time to try and fix this. Hey! 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 The irony. It's full effect. Oh, it's great. He lives. I give up. <laughs> Can't give up. You just got back. He gave up years ago, though. He's just not. <laughs> Plenty of time for us to give up in the next hour. Tell you what we can do. You can discuss your new characters for Terminal Overdrive. What do you mean new characters? Terminal Overdrive is a level 1 to 10 campaign based in the Carbon 2185 universe. If you lot think you're rocking in a level 1 campaign, at level 5, kitted, you can kiss my big airy one. I'm just saying. I've got some, <laughs> I, I've got some, I, I've got some ideas. That poor string is going to get disintegrated. <laughs> are you guys thinking, to keep it kind of vague, uh, are you guys thinking of playing something similar or going drastically different? No, I'll do something different. 
do love my build, but I'm gonna have a another look at the book. Uh, you, no, no, different no, no, no. is in ver is it? Oh. different in yeah. personality or I've different in playstyle. I watched the thing of story. I can. We can hear you now. Yeah. We can hear you. It keeps freezing. Yeah. Uh, apparently, that's because my internet connection is unstable. Oh dear. Fine. No, no, I've got a few ideas of what I want to write. Love I think you. I'm pretty set on class. Hey, James. It's just... I hope everything's alright. Uh, I, 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 I want to definitely want to play a different class. Um, I'll probably I'll probably go something a bit more gunny. Um, I'm not really that fussed. I'll, I'll fill a hole in the group. I definitely don't want to play hacker. I think maybe hacker or something tank tanky. I've been really considering doing um, the private eye. Well, I've cool. just finished. I've just been playing Fallout again, and I think in my head it's just Nick Valentine from Fallout. Let's go, message, James. On your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Does it just? Um, is there an update to the core rulebook, or can I just use that? Yes, they're doing a sec. It's almost like the second printing of the core rulebook. That's. Oh, okay. Cool. Is there new classes in it? Yeah, there's, I, uh, they, I don't know if there's new classes, but they've tweaked the way no. um, some of the stuff's worded and such. But Terminal yeah. Overdrive brings a lot of new... Uh, I don't know if there's new classes. It, there's new weapons, new, new augments. And, yeah, oh, new yeah, yeah, there's, there's loads of new shit. Yeah. I don't think there's any new classes as such. There's the, there's, new, there's the new race or race. background or whatever it is. Is it the robot? Yeah. It's the mm -hmm. robot anyway. You're a full mech. You go full 3PO. I kind of like the robot from Rogue One. I yeah. might play yeah. something. I might play something from the Cities book, actually. Yeah, well, yeah, there's loads of stuff now, isn't there? Right, Kippers, you ready? I'm going to wait for my Cities yeah, books please. to turn up. The corporate the corporate kid bit looks quite interesting, like playing like some workhouse, like work kid who grew up like being indoctrinated into a business somewhere. Mm. You'd be shocked for all that. could I'll... play a Cockney Cyberpunk. Can you? And just throw your entire history away down the shitter. I guarantee that character dies in the first encounter. <laughs> oh, cool, blimey, guy, that's a bit harsh. I'll, sh I'll, I'll shoot him. <laughs> Just for that, he's going to kill Jean now. I don't think he needs my help. <laughs> so, that all by himself. Right, so, that's, so that's what Are we ready to go? Episode 29, The Death of Jean. <laughs> 22, yeah. As a bit of a recap. 30, the oh. death of Jean. <laughs> As a bit of a recap for you lot, because it's been a little while and those watching. You are currently in, or deep within Olympus Mons, at least a mile beneath uh, the facility that you first entered at the um, enormous uh, dormant volcano <clears throat> facility. You have followed um, your target prey, you know, Person you're just trying Mark? to pronounce the Mark, whatever you want to call it. Uh, looking for the young boy called Kane. You went deeper in past the facility where it got to a more natural state. Um, and it now you have traversed through what seems to be some sort of honeycomb, uh, very reminiscent of um, an insect, uh, like honeycombed hive place. Within the, um, what do you call them? With the crevices and such that have been dug out on that, you discover these amber gemstone type colorings with live nanites in them. They seem to be powered from something further or deeper within the rock. There was something or someone ahead of you that you were tracking. They then disappeared. You came to a lip that dipped down into a uh, very wide open almost dome like um, cave area with lots of these other honeycombed uh, tunnels and such going off in different directions at the middle was some form of red stoned jungle gym that you saw the young boy cane on with his um scruffy clothes strange slick oil seeping from um his skin it seems his bare feet and hands are covered in it jean knows that to be the uh, what nanites look when they're exposed that's right. I'm watching you. <laughs> the um, the gang stayed up on the lip to look down into the dome. Jean put all his weapons on the floor and walked towards uh, Kane with his arms held out either side of him in a very Jesus-like manner. 
Whilst he was talking to uh, young Kim, words were swapped. It was deep, emotional, very story, very story flavoured. It was wonderful. You'll never see it like it in your life again. And then the two nanobot hives above Jean and Kane exploded. Exploded. And uh, Jean and Kane had to dive out of the way dramatically. And when the sparks and the smoke settled, there were two what appear to be similarly similarly dressed uh, in the same attire as a Philip. They're pretty much decked out, helmet, body armour, there's no sign of flesh. Everything seems to be covered and protected. They've got rifles and pistols and a few um, other gizmos and gadgets upon their uh, Batman belts. And they are stood several feet away from Kane and Jean. Now, we're going to go over to roll 20. Skiddish. And we are going to. You can see the chibi artwork here, actually, by uh, Mr. Coyote Cream. And I'm going to turn up the battle music. For me, at least. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can. Dramatic. You all roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. yeah I wanted to go first. More in my life. <laughs> <laughs> 19. Right. If we go first, we just blow up Jean and run, right? I'm using the, I'm using the big chonky dice. You can hide the weights in this a lot easier. I'll take that. Lauren's I'll taking this that. a bit too seriously. Oh, you want to see wow. serious? Um, 22. If she, if she gets a bazooka out. No. Could have paid for that roll. I could have paid for it. 27. <laughs> 27 for Jean. Um, 413X. A million and six. <laughs> and a half. Uh, 29. Jesus Whoa. Christ. He's a fast boy. Makes I rolled a 19. Makes you feel better. He's not first. Larry. Uh, 16. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm a mere mortal, apparently. <laughs> the average is 10, right? I'm pretty quick. <laughs> Philip. Yeah, you keep 20. telling yourself the average is 22. 22. 22. <laughs> you and... 19. I feel uh, <laughs> that was amazing. pretty sluggish at 16, actually. 29. What about you, Larry? Ah, I'm here. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's not quite like playing Cyberpunk Red. What's the solo doing? Killing everything before anyone else gets an action. <laughs> I got this. I got this. It's fine. So, it settles. No smoke, no sparks. Jean. Oh, too, if, soon. It, we, <laughs> it's never too soon. Jean, you see in front of you, Kane, there is a almost knee jerk reaction in him as his eyes go bloodshot red and you start to see what you first think is tears but then it's overflowing of this nanite liquid pouring out down his cheeks and dripping to the floor as he stands up from prone turns to this one here and literally jedis him and puts his hand up in front of him okay Oh, this one here sort of goes stiff for a moment, arms completely rigid out, and comes about three inch off the floor. And you hear a almost a really, really muffled cry of pain uh, from uh, within the helmet as he takes some damage. Mind still just how far away we are from this. Is he still holding on to his weapons? Yep. And then Kane needs to do a check. Kane remains conscious. And he has used one of his big boy opponents. Kane will then rise 
20 feet above you with a stream of liquid nanites beneath him. So rather than flying, they've actually like pushed him up. Okay. This is big Hero 6 stuff. It's now your turn, 413X. You know, uh, John, you do <laughs> notice that Kane doesn't have a clue that you're there. He's completely gone. Okay. Understood. So is this one still in the same square it was in? Yeah, they haven't moved. But he's no longer rigid. He's like... Whatever um, Kane did to him has disappeared. Yeah. Is the uh, is the so... scale on the map accurate? Yep. Cool. <laughs> Give it a look. So it's a target-rich environment. It's either Kane, the two weirdos, or well, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Once I didn't get us into this mess. <laughs> Uh, well, supporting my fellow cyber geek, I'll step forward, I'll level my gun. Cool, it begins. And it I'll begins. shoot this one. Hey. <laughs> uh, what's my to hit? Uh, Nineteen. Uh, your bullets just ricochet off. Uh, their armour appearing to do no damage. You miss. Okay. Uh, and then as my bonus action, I will attempt to hide the mere shadows of stealth. 22. 22? Okay. I'll record that. Then. For That's me, it. That's for, the end of my for turn. For reasons, do you have any technology upon 413X that prevents heat signature? No. For reasons. No reason in particular. <laughs> no, no. It said for a reason. Just don't, I don't know what that reason is. Just don't know what that reason is. Yeah. Maybe it's because there's a toaster nearby and it's going to get really hot. There's about to be a toaster. So that's all that will be left here. Uh, is that you done? That's me done. Jean? Jean? John? Steve? Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, uh, given given uh, given that 4 and 3 x has just targeted the crown guy, um, you feel more confident. <laughs> I am, I'm going to run back <laughs> to. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Yon lets me by because uh, my weapons are probably in a nice pile here. Ish. Body blocking. Body blocking. Oh. Four one three x clothes lines. <laughs> <laughs> if four one three X were both like kind of on either side of this, so there's like there was a gap in the middle and there'll be a gap on the right where you can get through where three X was. Jean, as you run, can you give me a mind save? Cool. <laughs> That's not worrying at all. Uh twenty three Kane's bloodshot eyes turn on you as you run from him. And you feel a you feel a, a tug on, on your mind. So you saw like that first step, you stop, but you resist it and you run to where you run to. Um, I will, uh, as I'm running back to my friends, um, I will grab my, I'll grab my weapons. Um, and I think that was 25 foot to get me there, which gives me five foot Step back at five foot. Cool. Um, and please help me save the kid. I will say to everyone. Blew up my grenade. Well, you eviscerated my grenade. Is that you done? That's, uh, to be fair, I've what have I done on the second? I've ruined. I've said to that I could act and dash. Your, your. I will say it took you your action to collect all your things, man. Yeah, fine. In which case, I'm done. Okay, man. Philip? Are we saying that if I want to move through a square that hey, someone else... If, if, if they it, allow you to move, you can get through. Okay. There's a, I mean, there's enough room that you could manoeuvre. Um, Philip's going to pull out his revolver and he'll try and... He'll turn around to Jean and say, let me fast. 
uh, John, will, John will let him past. Well played. Teamwork, kids. Teamwork. <laughs> I'll move to here. <laughs> cool. And then I'll shoot him. Cool. <clears throat> Why is Larry all the way back there? Because Larry doesn't. So won't put me there. I... <laughs> <laughs> Because Larry's low on hit points. <laughs> <laughs> you were all uh, looking, Larry, Larry's right? having a bad day. So what did you have a bad month? Sorry, ba- sorry. Larry's had a bad month. <laughs> sorry, Philip, what did you... 19? Does 19 hit? It does not. Oh, I tried. 32.2 feet away. <laughs> how do you do that? I've forgotten how to use roll 20. So left, I can make it. 30 left, feet. Left hand side, there is a small circle with a, what's supposed to be a ruler. Um, Oh yeah. Yeah, you click on that, and then when you you just hold and drag. So you your, your heavy ah, uh, your heavy pistol <laughs> echoes throughout this massive chamber, and your bullet just hits him or them square on the helm, and just ricochets off. Mm. As a bonus action, I'm going to use tracking on him as well then. So choose a creature within line of sight and hack one device or augmentation to track it. The exploit ends. Uh, until the exploit ends, you gain information about the creature's vitals, deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon sack, and you know, and you always know its location. They're tracking it, yeah? Cool. Yeah. Um, I'll go with that. <laughs> cool. Is that your turn? Yeah. Just walked out like this and just gone. <laughs> Start it's now it's turn. Uh da, 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 da. <laughs> Woo What's I'll the rate it when AD looks happy? Can you all give me a reflex here, please? All of us. Well you're all within twenty four of the grenade that's just gone off. Ah. Oh. 28 with a holding. Go, you take that. Uh, reflex 17. Cool. 19. Cool. 25. Nine. Cool. Nine? Yeah. Alright, so you said full damage, the rest of your tech half. As the grenade lands, you see it sort of bounce um, to about here. Alright, it's not doing it. Right. About here, it sort of then you know, when you uh, get like a weevil wobble, it goes boom and then sticks up straight, and then yeah. a spiral of bright uh, fire orange spirals around it, and the inferno grenade <laughs> just goes off. <laughs> Been a quiet night for me. <laughs> Shit, the bed. Uh, those of you that take. 16 points of damage to Philip, fire damage. As you're engulfed, all of you are engulfed in flames. Philip, you take the brunt of it, you kind of just focus in your shot, you take full 16 points of fire, the rest of you take 8 points of fire damage. Oh, As you sort of duck away in the lip of the stonework where you guys are, protects you a bit from the thing. That's his action. As a bonus action. Bam, 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 bam. There is a small circular tube just on their left shoulder that sort of aims in this direction and fires. And these three um, ping pong ball sized um, balls sort of hit and bounce out and a wall of smoke. Does this? Oh, that's not the one I wanted. How do you, how do you, there you are. That is a wall of smoke that you cannot see through. Maybe 413X can. What about my tracking? Oh yeah, you know, you know, it's, you know they're there. You just can't see them, you just know their location. And then... They will move there. Pack, you're up. 
Mm. We definitely can't see through that, yeah. What what kit have you got? Um, got visuals. I've got nearly enhanced herd comms implant, quick and reflexes, so probably not then. No. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure Alex has got a specific set of kit that will allow him to see through it. Richie hoo hoo. I am going to move forward to here and I'm going to lob an EMP through like this way. Okay. Or do I need to roll for throwing? <laughs> uh, nothing. Nothing? Okay. Uh, they need to make a reflex save if they're in the area of effect. Okay, cool. So, Kane passes. Uh, the other... The soldier thing does not pass. So what does the EMP do? EMP... Let me just find it. Why are you giving me a tempting? I'm looking for you. Uh, all unshielded electronics within 20 feet of an EMP grenade when it explodes lose power for one minute, but otherwise causes no damage. Cool, your EMP goes off. You see a two humanoid shapes beyond the smoke sort of be encompassed in a crackling static, and then it fades away, unaware of if any effect has taken place. Cool. Um... And then I just ready my rifle. Okay. This one's done. It's gonna step here. And launch a Oh well, you won't know. You just hear a goof. As it fires a net. second favourite noise. Well, fires a net and kick. Oh shit. Uh, just through, just where the, the smoke's about 10 feet high, you hear the goof, and then the scraping of um, lots of thin metal hitting the stony floor beyond. But you don't see what happened. Kane rolled an out when he has what happened. <laughs> Larry! Good lad. Yep. Is DM question, these walls here. They're there, yeah. There. Yep. And here. Have yep. they like floor to ceiling? Is there any way I can count is there they're any floor, cover to be? They're floor to ceiling. Where you see the walls, they hit the ceiling. Yeah. This is all being dug out, remember. Okay. Okay. I, case... I know. I know. There's a certain amount of cheese that comes with this line, but I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> this is quite sensible, my standards. I'm Everyone's gonna move. Everyone's got a bad feeling about this. How do I pick me up? I'm gonna move to here. Okay. Uh, basically, to use that, like, kind of peer out from around the corner of the wall. Well, you can see the one at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And I'm basically tucking myself up against the wall as much as I can, and kind of. Front and I'm just going to lean out and take a shot with the old shotgun. The new shotgun. shotgun? What's the range of the new shotgun? 40 disadvantage. Okay, that's not what I thought you were going to do. I'm uh, happy. Yeah, you're fine. It's 40 with a disadvantage, and I should be able to see around the smoke screen, right? He's only 30 feet. Yeah, you can see around the smoke screen. It's only 30 foot away. Sweet of X. Right, I'm going to fire this fancy high tech combat shotgun which it's not my saw enough but it seems to be better okay that's not great oh, 18 got replaced with an 11 what's my bonus to a shotgun it's only 30 feet mate yeah i get disadvantage if it's between 20 and 40. oh sorry i didn't hear that bit i thought yeah okay 40 is long range 20s okay i'm with you you I'm have a re-roll and i have my re-roll i'm not about to re-roll on a shotgun um <laughs> Oh, at this range. I guess I get 16. 16 to hit. Your, the shot just explodes out in front of you. You're sure. pretty confident it never made it across the 30 foot gap. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do anything with my bonus action? 
No, if you second wind in the previous fight, I don't think I can do anything as a bonus action. Uh, no, I can't. Cool, I will push myself against the rock as much as I can. <laughs> How much did I miss? How much did I just move? You told I don't me. Think I just as a, a bit of a retcon description, you will have seen the net fired at Kane because he's 20 feet in the air and the spot's so only 10 feet high. I moved 24 there, so then I'm going to use You've last 25. Five. I'm going to move five feet back up. Shuffling 24. <laughs> God damn it, man. Just make it easy, will you? <laughs> I've still got point three left. <laughs> I took, pop my head out, fire with a shotgun, took myself behind the wall and be sad that that's the most indirect way of trying to hurt someone Larry's ever done. <laughs> so after the net was um, shot at Kane, um, poor lad's not overly pleased at that. A bit miffed. So we'll use his... Orbital laser. Which is great for being a mile beneath the surface. <laughs> <laughs> I was tuddling through the mountain. <laughs> it's Larry. <laughs> Death Star level laser. Just, just. Kane is going to completely encompass himself in the liquid nanites. And he, he now basically looks like a very childlike silver surfer. Fancy. Cool. Like he's been chromed. But he, yeah, he's been crumped. But he does not move. 413X. Uh, 413X is going to move to here, which is 25. And take aim at this one. And attempt once again to shoot it. Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Hey! I found the magic number, Philip! Uh, let's... Do I have any form of advantage against them? Why? I don't know, that's what no, I'm there's, asking. There's, In case there's... I had my sneak attack, because I was hidden at the start, but I don't know if I now... Uh, you were hidden I'm at the start, though, so as them. soon as you moved, you'd have brought that stealth. Okay. Uh, in which case, that's 13 points damage. 13? Yeah. yeah. And then my bonus action, I will hide again. Oh, I wish I had a bonus hide. <laughs> 22. Roll. 20, 22. Oh, 22. Yeah, this is your hide, hide, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But 13 points damage. Yep. I've adjusted accordingly. Cool. John? Uh, bonus action quickly on myself. Which is a bit shit. But it was something. Um. And I think I'm. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do something crazy. Uh, I'm gonna uh, stab myself with uh, the test tube full of Unifora and I can go jumping through the smoke screen with my sword out. I'm so <laughs> glad I moved over here. It's now a target-rich environment again. <laughs> right. That's that's that's. that's... <laughs> I thought that just happened. <laughs> That's definitely the reaction I was looking for. You were set. <laughs> going to die. John's going to die. Oh, but if we'd have put money on who was the one who was going to run into melee combat first, wouldn't it have been John? <laughs> I'm not going to need this anymore. <laughs> but he didn't yell, like, Nero Jenkins or anything of that. Like, That's what he should have said. Chin Chan John Jenkins! <laughs> Make you feel better? <laughs> As I'm running in, I will shout out, Mason, use me as you need to. Like one of your little French girls. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, I need, to, I need to know, John, 
where on your run you stabbed yourself. <coughs> At the start of it, <laughs> the end of it. Specifically which square. <laughs> there is there is no mason, there is only king. Right, specifically which square. Yeah. And probably probably as I'm entering the smoke to semi to like to semi hide what I was doing to myself. Cool. Got his sword out. Sean got his sword out. That's, so we had we had a title right there. Can, can you give me a very high fortune, sir, please? <laughs> so James, just in case you, because because you were obviously away for a, for a, for a time mm. before we probably got started. Um, Ad did mention about the fact that this was only going to be a short stream. All oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Long enough for you to butcher that Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> when you say very and for high. Sean to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't put money on it, but me, but uh, hey ho. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's gravy time. Hey, Thanks for the follow, Gwai. Yeah, the, uh, the gonorrhea finally went to his head and he's gone mad. So, <laughs> stay, staying on point, Jean. <laughs> when, you, when you say very high, you got like a six. <laughs> no, I've got 21. 21? Oh, let me check. We, we know that's averagely <laughs> low for any of the uh, AD sets, right? Yeah, we're like that's level... Like, that's why I was like, that's why I was We're level four, we should be in the 30s <laughs> right now. We're <laughs> 36. Yeah, you, you know uh, when he says, I'm not that kind of hacker, that's because the DCs are so high. <laughs> <laughs> Can't roll the nat one on it, but it's a pass, it just doesn't happen. If I roll the nat one, I'd be using the reroll. <laughs> <laughs> Map has gone off uh, the stream. 21 on the stream. Oh, the map had disappeared off the stream. It's back it's now. Alright, alright, cool. Uh, right, so, Mr. Jean, 21 on your fortitude, yeah? Yeah. Five, you take two points of radiation damage. Yeah. I, I still love that comment. <laughs> And as you inject yourself with Euphoria, you feel like you've made a fatal error. <laughs> like you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to recall any of your medicinal training or maintain an erection ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you saw space gone away. <laughs> yeah, at least you had a goodbye shag. For the, days ago. for the next three rounds. This is important, John. You do not have access to any of your combat medic talents. Okay. You know, you got special powers. However, yeah. oh, however, brutal. you are imbued with fury. So you have advantage on strength checks and fortitude saving for us. When you make a weapon attack using strength, so i.e. your sword or whatever you're using to hit with, you gain plus two bonus to the damage roll. You have a resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Why am I not on this drug? All the time. <laughs> and, be poor. and because you passed the fortitude save, you may choose another damage type to be resistant to. This is where you ask what they're using. What, uh, no, no, no. What are the damage types that I have to choose from? Uh, the, your normal RPG ones plus radiation. Right. Uh, ballistic, slashing, bludgeon. Radiation. Ballistic Fire, is a damage yeah. type. Electricity. Yeah, I'll go with uh, I'll go with ballistic. Good call. Like fire, gold, <laughs> poison, electric, psychic, radiation, Bull ballistic, etc. <laughs> he's yeah. never. He, he's like never magical be into psychic. <laughs> that magic element of think, bullet. I did think about it. I did think about going psychic straight away, but now I'm good. Right, I've got this. At the end of the three this rounds. This is a fucking great plan. This is a great plan. <laughs> At yeah, at the end of the three rounds, you're dead. <laughs> at the end of your the heart three... explodes in your chest. At the end of the three rounds, we've replaced it with a bit of potato. At the end of the three rounds, you will require another save, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, there's three saves in this, right? That's your first save or die. That's your second That's save or die. You see, just, just John, John just running in, just like empty the pill bottle in the way. <laughs> 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 On that basis, I guess I made it far enough to get into melee combat with this guy. <laughs> it will, of course, be your action to inject that into you, mate. Oh, okay, and, fair and, enough. And, and survive it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah cool. That's fine. I will, I'll still run into you melee. You will give me a shit ton of you... stick when last episode I thought about doing that. Yeah. Yeah. You, um... So, 
when I clear the smoke, I will find him and find him and kill him. Or, you know, but just like look like I'm gonna kill him next time. <laughs> your first, your first round, you are focused on the elite. The other two rounds, you will need to roll and attack the closest around you. So one of those three. Unless, oh, your okay. unless your mates turn up, because then they'll be on the dice roll as well. Jorn kills a kid. Jorn kills Vex. He's 20 foot in the air. The, the, the best sentence I've ever heard. Nobody get close to the medic. <laughs> uh, Philip, you're up. You just watched Jorn stab himself. With a like six Epi inch pen. syringe <laughs> filled with liquid death just in the chest. I was just like thinking of an epi pen in his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you sharpened a broom the handle. So, what are you doing, Philip? Um, the smoke does look as though it's dissipating, but it is still there at this, at this moment in time. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, considering my. Try and hack uh, it. Considering. No. Considering Philip's history with military and stuff like that, would he have known from Jean's reaction what Jean just stabbed himself with? The experimental drug that no one's heard of? No. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, he knows he's stabbed him with himself with an experimental drug that you, no one's Yeah, heard of. so exactly what, exactly what it says on the tin, mate. You found an experimental yeah. drug. You know it's called Euphoria. It's been dripped out of a load of massive people that look like Chase, and he's now injected it into himself. So, look, Philip can ascertain from that what he wishes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that kind of hacker either. Uh, I'll move to here and sort of lean around the corner and then shoot at this guy down here. This one, the one 30 feet away. Okay. Is it sure? Oh, it's not, unfortunately. I mean, it's not. <laughs> 19. Your 19 ricochets off the armour of the. Uh... Yeah. I'm trying. Attack and then uh, I will. And hits John in the face. <laughs> Good. Uh, and then I will duck back slightly against the rocks like that. Is that your turn? Yes. So, there you go. The uh, smoke disappears. So the smoke disappears. This one, seeing Jean in a bit of a eyes on state with a katana in his hand, will, as a bonus action, throw a small device at your feet, Jean. That one? That one? That one? How do I do it? How do I do it? How do I do it? How do you turn it into a circle? Ah, sod it. We'll go that way. <clears throat> cool. It was meant to be circular, but we're going with square. As the small device goes, lands at your feet. A beam of light shoots up about 20 feet and forms a almost digital squared fence and or cube even around you. So it's roof and walls, yeah? Okay. And then with their action, you will see their arm change from a five-fingered arm and it will have a large bludgeoning type um, lump of what looks to be metal at the end of it. And it will then <clears throat> try and punch you in the face. Ooh. 21 on a D4. Five. <laughs> but it rolled a five. It missed. It's okay. Second punch. 17. That's a hit. Is it weird that we're living out so many of our fantasies by watching this thing punch you in the face? <laughs> <laughs> you always remember your first one. You take 10 points of bludgeoning damage, John, reduced to 5 because of your yeah. fury. But it literally sort of goes boom, boom, and hits you with the second one. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> it does not move from you. 
Ewan. Yeah, Ian. Back. Lauren. Hello. <laughs> um. You see this bluish uh, digital cube around them three. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to shoot this one. How do I do it? The one that's not in the cube. Okay. Cool. I'm going to shoot him with my uh, rifle. Uh, and that is 23. 23 hits. Uh, and because I moved um, more than 10 foot last round, I get a bonus to my uh, attack. My damage roll. Um, so that is 14. 18 damage. Is it all ballistic? Uh, yes. And then I will run and hide up here. <laughs> See ya. Me. It's now said target's turn. They walk through the digidome, cube, <coughs> digicube. Into that, they stand there. Mm. Really want the kid. Close to a bike. The uh. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, John. They will use... If the main quest becomes rescue Jean and the kid because they've been kidnapped, how many side quests do you think well. you can do? <laughs> <laughs> the oh, plus side, think try. how many jets we won't crash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they will pull out a stim, not the size of the one John uh, inhaled. And it's sort of, instead of it being pushed into skin, you see a small socket on their shoulder, and they just put it in there, and the greenish liquid within just... and they inject themselves. That's their action. You notice, Sean, more reflexively, that they seem to be jittering um, really, really fast, in somewhat of a hasted... Uh, <laughs> Boom. There we are. That's their turn, Larry. Yep. Right, what the hell am I going to do? Jesus. No, no, Jesus. Do I, do, I have, do I have any idea what this weird cube technology is or what it does? Give me a ten dollars, roll. <laughs> <laughs> does this barbarian? Uh, Twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Still get seventeen, I, right? I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I might have a negative. Yeah. I might, Jeremy might have a negative on tech. No, it's a plus seven. zero. Technology role, but you you did let him say at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Tech, uh, yeah, this, this is zero. So flat that twenty. Flat that twenty. Uh, it's an impenetrable defensive cube that's sometimes used um, for very very short term. So they only last about six seconds. They're usually used on shot troopers and stuff. Um, okay. You never got to use it, but um, some of the. Some of the soldiers that had money invested in them carried them around now and then. But I'm going to take a full action to just absolutely hoof it the entire length of the room and dive behind that wall over there. Okay. Move your little self. Uh... Just so you know, Larry, on your nat 20, you've seen a tank shell bounce off it. Cool, that's why I'm running and not shooting. <laughs> On the plus side, Larry, you are not a tank shell. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing it out there. I'm going to run and jump at it. <laughs> I'm gonna, can I see anything? Is there anything it's to the through. left of this cave? No, is there anything? It, like... it opens up into more catacombs and stuff. Not catacombs. Um, more tunneling. Yeah, more labyrinths okay. and tunnels and such. Anything of no... Give me a perception check. My... Catches my attention. <clears throat> it's not bad either, actually. Uh, perception. God, Larry's got some very one-sided stats, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, because he's an Seven NPC. <laughs> 17. Because oh, he was designed by 80. <laughs> 17. You're looking as more than one stat. You hear the... Um... 
from some of the tunnels that sound very similar to the nanobot hive um, swarm things that you saw when you first got here. Cool, uh, so not, not going any further that way. <laughs> I will uh, tuck myself behind the wall just so I... I'm not... I, I, I'm not... I'm not meta stealthing, but Larry's roleplay hiding, I understand. Well played. <laughs> Look at me, you can't see me! Right, it's Kane's go. Kane is in a bit of a zone now, so let's roll a D3. <laughs> uh, is this just Kane and Jean killing each other in a blood rage? <laughs> I, did, uh, it, it, I did shout out to Mason, just, just, just putting it out there. Uh, you also injected yourself before you got into the smoke. True. So I'd like to True. add that your words might have gone off in your head, but not necessarily shouted out loud. <laughs> you can't write My head's dead. good enough. My head's good enough. Um, give me a mind saver advantage. What, me? Yep. We didn't hear you. You didn't hear me, AD? Uh, no, 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 I'm just... No, sorry. Oh, no. right, sorry, 17. With advantage? Yeah. Take a point of psychic damage. Okay. As you feel, you feel the presence. Even though I mean, I mess is a couple feet, well, twenty feet above you, but um, very much when he read your uh, memories before and was talking to you telepathically, you feel that presence. And with it just being a bit of a sting, it, you seem to resist it better than um, better than you thought you may have. Oh. You go on. Can I react to that? And in, is in like try and show it warmth and love rather than respond. You're furious, you? Give me a people roll with disadvantage because you're Foamy furying. The mouth. <laughs> you're furying and Kane's in super defensive mode. So disadvantage people. It's a straight people roll. Nineteen a disadvantage. Are you adding persuasion? Oh, to oh it? just oh, sorry, just my straight stat. Sorry, it's less than that. Uh, on my straight stat, that is. Oh no, no, feet. I said persuasion, did I? So nineteen. No, no, you said a people roll to be fair, dude. So. Oh, okay. Uh, so what was the roll? Uh, it's a uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Fuck me. Okay. Noted. Cool. Um, on Kane's bonus action, his movement, he's gonna land <clears throat> here. Oh shit. <laughs> Interesting. And as his bonus action, have you? Are you still down hit points, John? Oh yeah. quite a few of them <laughs> he reaches his hand out to you and even in your uh, fury state you feel your nanites kicking as you receive seven hit points back it's patsy on the head on the way past <laughs> good dog like nice puppy yeah it's Brilliant. the same feeling as healing but you don't see any of the physical interaction that you that you'd have to perform when doing such a thing okay four one three x Give me a tech roll. Uh, 17. Cool. You are also where it's an impenetrable defensive cube that lasts about six seconds. Okay. Can you hold your action? Yeah. I'll wait for the cube to drop because I think it's going to drop this round on his turn isn't it uh, yes yeah it will yeah. drop after Philip uh, okay yeah so I will hold my action for immediately when the cube drops to shoot this cool. chibi in the head cool 
John. Uh, I'll attack this one. Um, oh, I'll take some of that. Uh, 22. Yes. 22 hits. Is 1d6. Oh, no. uh, six points of slashing damage. Six points of slashing. Yeah, I am using my dex, not my strength, though, so I'm not getting the damage bonus from Fury. Ah, oh, okay. Still... okay. Uh, no, it's just the Fury's yeah. strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Your blade cuts through. You see it cut through all the way. There's no resistance to the blade. Cool. That is the uh, mono katana. Yep. It ignores resistance anyway. But you notice yeah. it. The, the slashing effect of the blade does not seem to bounce. Um, I don't have any bonus actions at the moment, so that's my turn. <laughs> you just become a tank, man. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, it's always good when the actual tanks running around with no hits and the healers become the tank with no healing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Philip, you're up. It'll be right. Uh, I'm gonna poke my head around the corner. Oh, you see a digital uh, cube? Uh, do you want to do a tech roll? No. Alright, cool. You've no idea that it's in pen <laughs> Yeah. Seeing as though my revolver is not doing anything, though, I'm going to get the Kasai rifle, which is un unsynced to anyone, off my back, and spend my action to sync it. attuning it to me. Cool. Setting a four num four digit pin code. Yeah, <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> right, it's now there. Go and that drops uh, fallen three X. If you do your held action and fire. You only get your one shot, you don't get all your go. It's just that held shot, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool. Uh, 25? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that do is I me, count? mate. Never mind the bloody thing, Jimmy. <laughs> do, do I uh, count as hidden and get advantage? Yeah. wasn't any better. <laughs> but I do get my extra damage dice. So I'm reckoning they're taking half damage from ballistics. Uh, 21 points damage. Ooh. Damn. Boom. Rifle. <laughs> So that's your held action, right? So it's actually this. Right. As a bonus action, they'll raise their arm that's not turned into the large lump of slamming metal. And in front of you, Jean, you will see a crackling violet energy like go around um, the soldier in front of you. And then they boof, and they disappear from sight in like a and they just leave a remnant of um this crackling blue energy and appear behind larry larry just behind you you hear this boof, you turn and you see as the static of this violet light uh electricity fades away and he tries to punch you in the face excellent 15. <laughs> I might be alright at 15. <sighs> Misses. And, and 10. Misses. So as it turn, as you turn around to face it, it sort of tries to do a two strong slam attacks at you. And, you know, fuck it. You just stand there and let him hit you. Then I walk. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get out of bed earlier. That, you need to do some push up slam. <laughs> Are we doing push ups now? No. Uh, you're this your go. Alright, um, <clears throat> so I'm a little bit hidden. 
And I'm going to try and shoot the one next to Larry. Okay. So that is 22. 22 hits. Delightful. Because um, I moved last round, I get plus one. And then because I'm hidden, I get my uh, stealth die. Okay. Fifteen. I think you get it anyway, because Larry's stood next to you. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. I'm helping. <laughs> Eight, fifteen, nineteen, twenty-five. Oh, twenty-six. Twenty-six points of damage? Yeah. I like that rifle. So do I. Yeah. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, and then I kind of hide again. No, oh, um, no. Uh, so I keep getting my bonus. What I'm going to do? I'm going to. Oh, I need to switch that. Uh, I'm going to move around here and hide here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now that turn. Um... Oh. And they're hasted way. Let me have a look. What else have they got? <clears throat> cool. Is your uh, is your missus watching some kind of crime procedural in the background, AD? Yeah, she is. Yeah, totally. Which <laughs> one? <laughs> She's watching NCIS. It's late season. <clears throat> right. Nice. So, uh, Jean and Kane, what you see is they sort of turn their back on you and just set off running. <laughs> but in the in the square that they're in. Um, is still them. So give me a attack of opportunity at disadvantage. At disadvantage? Yeah, as it's left a holographic image of itself. I'm not double 11, but I suspect a 17 is going to miss anyway. A 17 does indeed miss, and you strike out at the holographic image. And it reacts um, as if being stabbed. Hey, what did you get, a 17? Yeah. Yeah, so, and it disappears. But you destroy the holographic image. But there's no, and there's oh right and oh shit he's gone to Alex. Yep. Okay. Uh, running up to Alex with it in his uh, in its lovely hasted um, motion. It's going to attack you four times with a four <laughs> with a kunai as you see them draw it from their belt. Is that like a knife? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a small, throwing, little throwing yeah. knife thing. Uh, Scorpion uses in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's, oh, got, okay. it's got the little blade and then down and a little circle on the end. Uh, the first one Get comes in. here. First one comes in. That's a miss. I don't even I know that's a miss. That's a hit. 22. Yep. That 20. Yep. Out of two. Well, I rolled a two, but I know that's not going to hit you. So, of the four hits, first one misses. Second, second one hits. Second one Third hits. One's a crit. The second one's accurate, really accurate, very accurate to the point where you're quite you're acknowledging the same skill level as yourself in its accuracy. Did you take eight, ten, fourteen points? of uh, piercing damage. And the nat 20 you take eight points of piercing damage. Wow. 
I would have really liked the Nat 20 on the first turn. <laughs> yep. And then they stand okay. there and they just spin the kunai. Larry? I think it's go time, isn't it? I think it's like just beat this guy to death. Let's do it. Beat this guy to death. I'm going to wear... I don't have action surge either. I used that last time, so... Shit, yeah, but it... it really is. Oh, well. Rock and roll. Uh, I'm just going to punch it twice in the face. In the true Larry style. First uh, hit is on a 17. It does not hit. Second attack is a 10. It does not hit. You hit, but you're uh, exactly the same reaction that you had when it punched you, it has when you punch it. So you both awesome. just stood in front of each other, ting, ting, tang, tong, ting. <laughs> right. Top of the round. As it's top of the round, and it's half past nine, and I'm busting, I'm going to hold it there, and we shall return with the next round of combat. So we're going to have a quick break, folks at home. we have just got to grab a drink and have a wee wee. And then we shall be back. Stick around. Stick around. See if they slot survive. <laughs> ah. Yes. All right. Break time. Break time. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Hey. It's amazing. Hello, folks. We are back. back right, again. so we, we all decided in the break we're just going to have a sit in. We're not going to do anything that he tells yeah. us. We're doing a peaceful protest. We're on strike. Yeah. None of us are rolling a D20. Right, what? we're all going to get banners. So, what? What? <laughs> hey, John, you do you. You do you. Right, just before the break, this lot of engaged in a fight with two unbadged, as it were. Soldiers, warriors, elite. Brutalizing whatever. level 20 elite dickheads. They're not level 20 at all. It's not my fault, you lot of shit. So. <laughs> got a point. He's got a point. Maybe for you, Eugene. Yeah. Kane. I'm trucked up, I'm good. Moves. Ah, for fuck's sake. Moves to here, next to you, John's on the roids. Do it. I mean, do you want an opinion? If you let me know what it is, I might offer an opinion. <laughs> He's going to explode yeah. your head like scanners. A, um, is it funny? A dome goes over is both it funny? of you. A dome goes over both of you, completely made of nanites. You cannot oh, see shit. out of it or anything. <laughs> and there is a warm smile that appears on the blank eyes of Ken. On his face, his eyes are blank. Fuck him up, Gene! Fuck him up! <laughs> 18, <laughs> sec 18 <laughs> seconds later, the dome comes down and his comrades are all just dead. <laughs> uh, and you die. see that the dome, the nanites are actually flowing from Ken to keep it there. Is it, like, Protected. completely uh, completely sealed? It's open. You can breathe. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was, it's, it, it's opaque. Yeah. He's reacted to your warmth in a, cool. pos in a positive manner. Fallen 3x. That kunai came in really fast. Quite hastily. Thank you for the re-roll, Angela Laluna, Laluna. Thank you. Thank you, Luna. We're going to need it. We're going to need it. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, we got two re-rolls, and then I've got one. We've got three, haven't we? Didn't now buy us two? I think you I think... only bought one. Yeah, you only bought one. one. Yeah, yeah. 
cheapskate. He doesn't like his stamina. He <laughs> doesn't like his stamina. Um, he wants in uh, on the new party, that's all. He's just trying to bring you up. <laughs> Uh, 413X is going to... Who is Angela Luna? Is she one of the... Is she the class... On, on a Friday. She plays on Friday in the... Um, ah, she's, sort, uh, she's Roughworks creative partner. Ah, uh, okay, cool, oh. cool. Hello. Celine on a Friday, there you go. Thank you. So what are you, doing, what are you doing, 413X? Um, 413X is going to drop the submachine gun, pull out the flare gun that's tucked into its waist, Shove it under the chin of the thing in front of him and pull the trigger. <laughs> yes! yes! Uh, Flynn. Now, now we're improvising, kids. Now we're cooking with gas. Or flares. <laughs> or flares. Is the case be, yeah. What page is... Um... I could mag dump this SMG designed to kill people. I can tell you now, or it's signaling not in tool. the rule book. AD, you, you uh, gave it to me and told me the stats of it. It does 1d6 damage. Okay. Fire. Boom. Can you do an attack roll, please? <laughs> Certainly can do. Uh, 22. Justice. Cool. No bonuses to this one, but six points of damage. 94 to go. <laughs> six. So, yeah, six. Six points of fire damage. Cool. And I don't happen. know if it catches fire. You never told me that much. No, it's all right. A couple of things happen right now. As you See do, it, as you do <laughs> that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? As you do that, six points of damage to it. There is a screech that comes from it, and its helm and armor falls away from it like a shell. And you are left with what is a very, very basic human-looking cyborg, or cybernetic face, sorry. And they are, the armor that was on the shoulders and the chest, and the helm and such have all fallen away, and you can now see very vulnerable points to this um, cy cybernetic entity. Excellent. As, as 413X's bonus action, it's gonna draw its heavy gun heavy pistol and then shift its off arm into a sword with a middle finger nice <laughs> cool and that's it that's all my actions I'm into that John uh, John will swing his shotgun out and blow the first thing that comes through that shield oh no sorry blow, blow the first agent Hang on, that he does right. not recognise can, can you reword that shot for yeah yeah <laughs> We'll shoot the uh, the first agent that comes through that barrier, or that he sees when the barrier is penetrated or drops. Somebody clip that for fuck's sake! I will blow the first thing that comes from there. <laughs> oh, I hope your lass is watching this. I swear, to God. <laughs> she is watching this. Yeah. Hi, honey. We need to do that. Nathan, 2021. <laughs> Colorized. Oh, <laughs> Larry walks like through Peter the shield. Larry walks through the shield. It's John's like, I'm on this. <laughs> <laughs> got a re, has got no one B. So you're yeah, so basically, you're holding, uh, your I'll hold an action if the if uh, if one of the two agents breaches the shield. Basically, someone that doesn't rec that I don't recognise breaches the shield, or the shield drops. I will shoot. Yeah. Okay. Philippe. But I'll like stand or like defensive of uh, yeah the kid, basically. <sighs> right. <laughs> it's been clipped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What? I post it on the heavyweight gaming Facebook channel. Appreciate it. What? <laughs> you might have been clipped. Dwarf War is clipped it. You, you oh, Niall, man. <laughs> mainly because you screwed with him earlier. Now he's got you. <laughs> That's beautiful. Cosmic karma in full effect. Right, Philip, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to move to where I've moved to. Uh, oh, I'm okay. going to use... Yeah. Um, as the I'm... insight of Philip. <laughs> we can rob seal. Um, as a 
bonus action, I'm going to use Overcrowded HUD on the thing that is in front of us, in front of me and Larry. Overcrowded. It needs to do a mind saving throw or it's blind for three rounds. Oh, every now and again, hackers are all right. Eight. All right, yeah. That probably fails. <laughs> and, unless they're actually trying to hack yeah. with the skill hack. <laughs> That's different. He's not that kind. No, he's blinded. For three rounds? Yeah, for three rounds. Ninja egg. And then I'm going to get my Kasai Corporation rifle and try and shoot it. Does a 22 hit? It does. Welcome to the party, Philip! Tell me about it. Uh, I'll need three of those. And one of those. Uh, 12, 19. 20, 21, 22 damage, please, sir. Uh, roll again as it's blinded, so you attack at advantage, just to see if you're not 20. Oh, what, the uh, roll of d20? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Right. So it's just 22 damage. <laughs> I'm just like, roll, roll again. Just roll again. Yeah, that's fine. As you just into it, again, you see all this armor and uh, padding and stuff just fall away like a cracked shell onto the floor, and you see this emotionless cybernetic entity beneath looking squidgy. It does see you. You don't feel you're tracking upon it anymore, or the overcrowdedness. All right. Um, 10. 15, 20. I'll move back up there. I'll give Larry some breathing room. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Honest. You and... <laughs> yeah, I know, but... I know, I know, mate. I feel you. Is this how you feel on a Friday? Is this how you feel on a Friday? three hours every Friday, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've just had an out-of-body experience seeing you through my eyes. <laughs> um... So you always I, um, see me through your eyes. You know what I meant. <laughs> right, I'm going to shoot the one by uh, 413X from my hidey hole. I've just had an experience where I see you with my Shh. eyes. Is that another clip you need? That's a fucking clip. Come on, man, you're killing me, lads. <sighs> so what did you get? Sorry, sorry. I'm about to roll. I was leaving you have your moment. Oh. Uh, that is 21. Uh, what, what are you doing? I'm shooting it. Shooting the one that's fighting 4 and 3 Yes. Yeah, 21 hits. <laughs> Nine. Easy. I mean, yeah. I appreciate this might, you know, I know it's not as hot as next Thursday night's game, but tonight's game sounds pretty special. You're a prick. 23 damage. 23? Yeah. Give me two seconds while I just cry. The clip that <laughs> Warforia has done, I've put the link to in the chat. So if there's anyone in the chat wants to relive um, oh, come Nathan's... On moment, not Jean's, Nathan's moment of saying he'll <laughs> blow the next thing that comes through there. <laughs> you can save that link. Um, it's your phone if you're part of the Discord. Uh, you can join in there. Um, the link for the Discord is in chat. Well, so just scroll up a little bit. Yeah, you can save it and fantasize about it later. Yeah. Why you, you know your girlfriend's doing that right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's your own. Next time uh, you see yeah. her, she's going to go, I'm going to come through your barrier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting weird now. So, Ewan, you Ian, back. As you fire and the yeah. bullets rinse into the uh, oh, cybernetic God. entity, it shreds it apart like, like you're just shooting cattle in a freezer. And the damage you do to it is far greater than what you're used to doing. <clears throat> so I was just hearing beep beeps. <laughs> so excellent. So is it eviscerated or is it still there? It's still there, but you are yeah, very yeah. aware that you're 
attack was in fun very playing four one three x. Very substantial. Larry, gone a bit blurry, the, Adrian. Are these things still wearing their future? Like their the, no, no, can you the, see that? No. It's it's take Robocop's kit off and you get the fleshy cyborg buddy. I'm going to punch it in the face twice. Cool. Thought about doing some intelligent, but... <laughs> that sentence will open it, is there? Uh, 19 and a 23. Go off it. Sweet. Oh, I forgot to say I re hid <laughs> You re-hid. <laughs> yeah, I re -hid. Where's my... Right. First hit. That's what we like to see. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, Sixteen on the first, and twelve on the second hit. When you're Avengers. punching them, it's like punching rotten meat. It's that it's too soft for flesh. And you're just literally punching holes in them and chunks come off as you just slam into them. You're like dead Robocop without its helmet on. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still there. You doing what else? That's it, that's all I can do. It's now Ken's turn. Just go with that. Kane passes out in front of you, John. <laughs> Kane passes out in front of us. Yeah. What happens to the barrier? It's disappearing. Just give me a sec. As an update for that clip, the Dwarf Warrior did. Apparently, uh, you say penetrated at the end as well. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'll, I'll let my girlfriend watch it and um, she can tell me about it later. <laughs> That's if she's still your girlfriend, but <laughs> she'll be like. Yeah. This, this we'll, filthy we'll animal. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kane passes out, mate. There is an element of trying to resist, but then passes out. It's actually a new round, mate, so your, action, your held action will have passed. Yeah, I figured, I figured yeah. that was the case. So. 4 1 3 Twice. Uh, yeah, that's about the best I've got. <laughs> I was Split expecting to, to be eviscerated by now, but apparently it's, uh, it's, it's decided to stand there. The squishy zombie robot now. I'm so glad I hit my... Uh, you didn't <laughs> hit it's, not, last it's, turn. it's not his turn yet, is it? Did I miss his turn? Uh, yeah, you uh, missed all uh, their turns because yeah, you've replaced yeah, the models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, cool. that's all right. I know when they're good. Yeah, because there's one before me and one after me. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, 27. Flip you, mother flipper. Ooh. Dwarf Warrior made a point. Three rounds have passed. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, they have. Yes. Mm. Uh, oh, Sean's turn uh, <laughs> next. Sean's turn next. Sean's head explodes. Get your fortitude Four. save ready, Sean. 14 yeah. points of damage. <laughs> As I literally unload several rounds into its chest. Uh, in combat, it's a disadvantage if you shoot a ranged weapon. Oh, okay. Well, my choices were 27 or 25. Both it. The bullets just tear through it, man, are going straight through it and out the other side, and you kill Kane. How far, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and What's Larry the range and you? Philip. <laughs> What's the, what's the range on your uh, gun? Uh, it's a heavy pistol. I'm looking up. Blows, shoots came in the back of the head three times. <laughs> is that all you've got? Is it 40 Kid deserves it. Uh, yeah, and the only other option I've got is a. Um... You got a vibro knife or something? 
He can't use it as a bonus action. I can't. It's a, it's a, my bonus action doesn't allow bonus action attacks. Um, what's my other option for my bonus action? Dash, disengage, or hide. And if I move, you're the next target. So. Who, me? Take my win. bonus action. No, I'm hidden. You were uh, hope you hidden. I should be hidden. <laughs> just because you roll the high self don't make you hidden. <laughs> I hope I'm hidden. John, give you me believe a, you're give hidden. Me a 42 <laughs> save. Remember, you do have rerolls. <laughs> I also have a. Do I also still have advantage on this? Not on this one, mate. Uh, this is the. Um, I'll take that nat twenty though. Is that all right? Yeah, it's all right. What's your total score? I don't mean shit. What's your total score? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. Motherfucker, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, I can't remember if I put it at twenty-three or twenty-four. Give me a sec. <laughs> I passed the last one on 21, what have you done to me? <laughs> I mean, now it's a new system. It's... <laughs> yeah, the, the, uh, on, on, the way I, on the way out, the DC was higher. Uh, now you shit yourself. What, you, well, what, yeah. what did you get, 23? Yeah. Uh, prick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it to 23. So as, the, um, as it leaves you, you are on a level of exhaustion. Okay. You take two points. Of radiation damage, but other than that, you are fine. But that, Remind me what ex level of exhaustion does again? Disadvantage on all ability checks. <laughs> I know this was a while back. So oh. your your attacks are normal, mate. Uh, yeah, but it's like, ability, just yeah, ability yeah, check. Yeah, if you're doing like I don't know acrobatics or something, it'd be disadvantage. Yeah. I'm pretty sure John was a dis was a had a level of exhaustion anyway because of his nano aids. It's been more than 24 one hours now, it's though. One off. Yeah, yeah. That's right, then. Uh, I mean, not that yeah. I'm trying to screw him over more, but... Yeah, that penicillin pack. Um, now it's your turn, dude. I'm going to stand over Kane to protect him. Okay. Uh, and it shoots the target on Larry. Okay. Cheers, John. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it helps, I missed. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, when you say helps, <laughs> uh, uh, and then I'm going to bonus action. I'm going to bonus action heal Kane. Okay. Uh, oh, just do a yeah. Just do a quick heal on him. Three D four. Why are you healing the child? <laughs> there are actual allies yeah, that are fighting child, and dying for you. Skills. He's unconscious! I'm not dying for sure, I'm dying to not die. I'm truly dying out of self-preservation. Unconscious is easier to get he out gets, of here. He gets seven he gets seven hit points back. That's the struggle to get him out of here. You, no, you, he notice, you notice his eyes flickering under the lids, but he doesn't gain consciousness. <laughs> but, right, you, but, you, but you are aware that whatever you've just done to him was more potent than you expected. Right. The strength of your um, aid, your healing, was far beyond what you uh, initially released. So he's doing something to everyone because uh, you said that my attack hit the guys more than I expected. That's why he's sleeping. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's my go. I am standing defensively over Kane. Okay. Philip. <sighs> I'll do the same thing. I'll move down and I'll try and shoot him. Let's <laughs> try. Yeah, don't worry about it, I miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. And I'll just I'll just I'll move into combat and just be like, well, fuck it. And I'll sort of drop the rifle on the floor and bring my sword out. I'm here now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got two re-rolls if you want. No. Okay. All right. No, we're saving those for when we uh, roll new stats. Yeah. So the... Uh, <laughs> this just in, they don't work on new stats. Ah, uh, you never said that at the start. You said we can't use it on death saves. All right, I'm saying it now. <laughs> so, this one, its arms will morph uh, into long blades. So both its arms are now blades. 
It will swing. Which one's this left or right? Uh, this uh, the one on the left. Okay. It will swing once at Larry. Why have you stood there? And anyway, <laughs> uh, the first one on Larry. Uh, that's a twenty-three. Right. Man. Yeah, that is. Is it still? It's still blind, isn't it? No, I said to you before. You oh, feel right, all yeah, that yeah. and fade away, oh, right. like it's a new entity. Um, imagine, imagine flanking bonus existence. <laughs> imagine that, mate. Imagine that, eh? Yeah, yeah. madness. <laughs> this ain't Sparta, mate. <laughs> you Why take are you a... Nightbot singing your praises, Dave? Something oh, to do know. with a mod, mate. Uh, eight points of piercing as the... How many? Eight. The metallic blade stabs into. The second strike will be at Philip. Thirteen? No. Just clangs off the armor of um, Philip, but it will stay there. It is emotionless, lifeless. It just seems mechanical, and its actions against you. But you can see that mushed up flesh, like fake flesh. When when I hit it and I hit the holes, is there any like blood, or is it is there it's, body it's fluids? Not, there is body fluids, but it's this thing is. Does it appear more, alive? It is appears it more. more it's more machine. It's more machine than man. It's, a, yeah. it's definitely a uh, synthetic organism rather than... Sure. Yeah. It's a robot made of human rather than a human that's got a bit of robot. Yeah, exactly. Gross. <laughs> it's oh, your turn, Gross. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop out and I'm going to try and shoot the boy by Alex. I'm going to re-roll that. So I'm using my re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, better. I wonder what that uh, was. <laughs> it, it was... It was an 11. Oh, okay. That was friendly fire, that one. What, the second one? <laughs> the no, gun's the jammed. Was holy. Oh, oh, the second one was holy? Yeah. Ooh. So we end up with 24. Um, and that's a crit. So do I roll twice or do I just take the full damage? Uh, roll, you roll and then double it. Yeah. But not for my damage. Okay. So. That's 16, 32. 33... 42 damage. Divorce, How much? 42. Jesus Christ. Rogues, yo. 42. Rogues. <laughs> now, now you eviscerate Yay! <laughs> and there is just a mess of synthetic flesh and bits and bobs of um, some sort of mechanical crap. <laughs> yeah, just all over that area. Uh, it was its turn. It's now not. It's Larry's. <laughs> cool. I'm going to... Can I move to a south position? I can't move... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm you, can't, move you can't move there. There's a wall in there. <laughs> can I move like that without... Like, Can I go round? Or is there, is there a way round for me to get to the side of it? Or if I leave you boxed in here? You're boxed in. Well, right, you I'm gonna punch you, Philip you, twice. You can, you can go here, <laughs> but as soon as you go there, yeah, take a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I go punch Philip twice. And, no. Um, you said oh. that he could pass over the same square that I'm on. Not whilst in combat. Not whilst in combat. Okay, that's fine. Well, I was I was gonna fluge something of having watched have having watched him fighting in that ring that one time. I I a, a yeah. bank camp. If I miss twice now, I'm going to shoot you in the face. But what, what are you doing, Larry? I'm punching the um, robo oh, okay. creature <laughs> I in the head. To, I needed to check, because you lot are a little bit, you know, mental. 17. 17 hits. Second hit. Ooh. 24. Misses. Eight hits. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Big boy numbers. It's two on a D8. You found uh, the big boy pants. <laughs> yeah, can I have them back, please? Uh, two plus... But you added two to it. Right. I've got so many modifiers. I haven't wrote a total modifier because it's changed when I leveled up. Um, it's still like two plus one plus two plus three. It's not double digits. You, you know, you're all right. It's not yeah. long multiplication. Yeah, you're not a rogue or scoundrel. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I don't know, with them gloves on, he just back ten damage on the Ten damage on the first ten. hit. It took yep. you three minutes to count to ten. <laughs> There's a lot of little numbers. Nine on the second hit, and shut up. <laughs> Nineteen <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> clip that. Fucking clip that. 
The clip can't ever be long enough. Uh, what are you talking about? We count to ten. You got 19 in total, yeah? Yeah. Times no, two is 36, mate. See that? Quick math. It's 38, actually. <laughs> <laughs> clip that! Clip that! I don't like correcting myself. You don't get missed it. So you, uh, again, chunks of it. You knock one of the arms off. It sort of buckles on one of its legs. Um, it looks, I mean, it looks fucked anyway, but it looks properly on, on its last synthetic. Uh, it's now a proper fact. Not a zombie leg. It's now Kane's turn. Uh, the chrome nanites that are around Kane start to rush like, like a, it looks like moving water all around him. Um, and they start. There's like, uh, you know, when there's a storm going off in the clouds, and you can see the dull light flashing in the thickness of the clouds. You see yeah. a, a reddish light uh, flickering all through the um, the chrome nanites. Uh, you feel as though there is danger afoot. <laughs> and can you give me a reflex save as his nanites um, expand aggressively in sharp yeah, spikes? Fair. I fail that one. <laughs> you got rerolls. Uh, shall I use a reroll? It's up to you. Use it. Yeah, go on. I use a reroll then. Yeah. The dramatic improvement. Twenty. No, unholy. Twenty. You take six points of um, lightning damage. It's lightning in this, isn't it? Not fun. No. Take six points of lightning instead of thirteen. Okay. <laughs> And you are forced back five feet. Uh, what direction, mate? Okay, cool. Uh, just roll a d8. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nah, you're nice, sure it. enough, you can count. Well, do you know what I mean? It's not, not like to me. ten. Yeah, not to ten. Jesus. That's like, that's like, you know, primary school, Matt. So. Get the counting blocks. Uh, that's Kane's turn. And then they settle, mate. The nanites settle around him and that the red flashing beneath it disappears. Cool. 4 one, three, I'm going to use my move action and my bonus action to dash to get to there. Cool. And I'm going to get... Uh, 20 to hit that? 21 to hit that. Yep, you hit it and ruin its day. And I ruin its day for... Oh, six hit points worth of damage. Six. in at the end. <laughs> you only did seven. Did you seven, you... seven hit points worth of damage. Yeah, all I don't right. have strength. No, but, but you have sneak roads. attack. Oh, do, do well, you get got, advantage in that? Well, you've you? got advantage because Larry's opposite you. You get sneak attack because one of your friends is within five feet. Mm -hmm. It's dead. You only needed to do six points to it, but you've. <laughs> oh. But in that position, that was probably your perfect position to be in. Yep. And then I'll rest my arm down and resume it back to being a hand state, and look at Larry and Philip and go, "This unit is running at 24 percent <clears throat> efficiency." You look at Larry, who's barely conscious on his feet, <laughs> just like oh, bleeding out the ears. So. Shit. Can I, seeing this thing go down, are we still in initiative round? Yeah, we're still in initiative. We've got the main boss yet. <laughs> He's lying on the um, floor unconscious. <laughs> I was going to look over my shoulder, just want to check in the cave and see if that noise I heard earlier has changed. Give me a perception check. I'll say with advantage, because you're deliberately listening out for something. In, uh, as in focus. S 18. You can't hear it further down the tunnels. Does it sound like it's getting closer or anything like that? Doesn't sound like it's getting closer, but it's still present. And from I'll, the uh, sounds of it, several of the tunnels have the same. Point it out to Philip and A13X. On the floor, where you drop them both, are the remains of their broken, almost eggshell. And it does look like you've broken eggshell. It's strange. To say they were so resistant to the damage, or at least the ballistic what, what, damage. What happened to the helmets? Again, that same 
egg light, eggshell like effect where they're just cracked and broken on the floor next to a pile of synthetic mush. Cade is still unconscious, but you are no longer in initiative. Cool. I will, uh, for now. This, um, this boy is the son of my friend. You have friends? Pray so. Oh, what's he doing down here? Like, you've, <clears throat> how long you've, did you know he was down here? Did you know he was involved? I moved there. Um, I knew he was the subject. I didn't know what he could do until we saw what we saw when we got here. Right, we when can did you in know? the car. Before we need to get before out. Before we got here or after we got here? Which bit? Did you know the I knew, was I, knew my, I knew my friend's son was here. I didn't know my friend's son was the subject until we got here. Uh, I'm going to pick up my rifle, uh, sling it. Are you going to reload it? No, it's got still got like 28 shots in it, it's fine. Oh, cool. Uh, come over here and be like, John, this is all very nice having this conversation, but right now we need to move. We need to go. 413X is going to pick up its submachine gun and then move back to the conversation. John, how much more... The nanites, the nanites are defending him still. Um... I can try and pick him up, I suggest. Okay, John, I, at I, the moment, Larry looks like he's about to collapse. Larry, get over here. Oh, bottle over. Cool. I'll heal Larry. You don't need to worry about roll 20, kids. <laughs> Moving your little chibis about. Oh, yeah, you've taken uh, Larry, Larry, <laughs> you Larry, you get eight hit points. Larry, you get eight hit points back. How is oh. everyone else? I, I'm still bleeding profusely, but I'm a little bit less on the brink of death. I can deal. I'll be alright. I'll survive for now. This unit is running at 24% efficiency. Yeah, sort 413X out. I'll give everyone a once-over. Give me a medicine like, check. A 19. Disadvantage, mate, because you are exhausted. 13. As that what they've told you is as accurate as you can pull. Okay, uh, I'll uh, I'll use my last heal on uh, four and three X, and then I'll quick heal uh, Larry. Uh, four and three X, you get seven hit points. Larry, you get another 10. And then I'll quickly on myself. Wait. Wait. Uh, for six. Um, no one got any fucking clue what the hell these things are. I'll kick at the remains on the floor. Can I have a look at them? A bit closer? Uh, yeah. Give Would me, you say when we first me... saw them, they had clown, in, uh, clown, <laughs> clown insignia, crown insignia on them? No, they had no insignia. Uh, Dave just pointed out that they were dressed exactly like him. <laughs> if, we take a, if we take a short rest, I can heal you more and I'll get all my hearing back. If you want to move, I'm okay with that. I'm not sure we'll be able to move Mason until he regains consciousness. But if any of us has a chance of being able to, it will be me. But his nanites did just strike at me when I was standing too close to him. So I'm not convinced. My concern is this. I'm all for getting the kid out, don't get me wrong. But what happens when we get surface side? Just one problem at a time. I got 21 on my investigation of the bodies. Okay. I'll come back to you. Okay. Like, I, I get one problem at a time, but... We get out of here, right? We get in the car, we drive back. We're rock, where, where do we go? We, he's not exactly subtle. We need to find somewhere he'll be safe. Somewhere that the people that ran this facility and Crown won't find him. Well, we could use some of the um, 
the uh, things in the uh, hangar and get off planet you, as quick as possible. Did you guys find anything about who's running this place or what's been going on here? We found some materials, um, but none of them were carrying any corporate logos. But if I was going to have a guess, I would say it was... Um, Nightingale. Nightingale. Thank you. Um, Can you, you know, techie types these things wide into something with a... What things? Into those oh, these these two cyborgs. I'm having a look now. Are they connected somewhere? They've been. Are they? You know, can they think for themselves, <laughs> or are they just like computers? So what you more so because of what you are as well, Ewan. They are a. They're young, if you know what I mean. Um, they're not long created. The the changes that have been made to them appear to be remove the uh, self-awareness and replace it with additional combat efficiency i.e. that really thick uh, well I say thick really resistant outer shell that once broken away gets to that softer centre like a like a roller <laughs> but, or um, an armadillo or an armadillo angling <laughs> dying bar <laughs> Good old dime adverts, yeah. Oh, Mandillo! No! Crunchy on the outside, smooth on the inside. But, I, see, I can't help but feel that Lauren's too young to know that advert. Oh, I do. I'm too young to know that advert. I know that advert. <laughs> okay, cool. Good, 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 good. That makes me feel marginally less old. Oh, hey, Rob. a while ago that I'm not as young as you think I am. <laughs> Rob, how are you? There's no way you're younger than me, and I know that advert. Yeah, but Rob didn't have TV out in the country. I think I'm younger than you. How old are you? 31. Yeah, I'm younger than you. I'm older than Dave. I'm really? youngest here. Yeah, I'm the I'm, youngest. I'm older than Dave. Yes, I'm older than Dave. Older I just look older, rough for my age. Yeah, That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fine. It's fine. Well, I, it's like I'm having a DM at 10-year-old like... just to feel younger, right? So, just... <laughs> <laughs> so what you notice about the outer shell is that there are very, very small bio-connectors from the shell to the soft. And you can imagine it's that it was part of them rather than something they donned. And quite clearly, there is a two-stage uh, fallout to them. The outer shell that is very protective, but once through it, you saw how easy. The damage you guys did for yourself reminds you of, you know, a lot more, like they were stood in front of a firing range and just got obliterated. Mm. They seem, they seem very vulnerable to the damage you put against them once the shell had gone. Is there any mm. indication of uh, their manufacturers or how they communicate with the manufacturers, anything like that? Now that, I need you to give me a... I would like you to give me a... I like how the TV just went, this isn't possible. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of hacker. <laughs> give me a mechanics roll. Mechanics. I love. <laughs> oh, oh, Phil's <laughs> getting upset now. Eighteen. Eighteen. One hundred percent. There's no mark on them. It's not like you can't find it, or it might be there. A hundred percent. There's no mark. These have been made clean. Blank. Yeah. I think it's worth our time having another look upstairs and seeing if we can find out who, what is behind this. I don't. I know you think it might be Nightingale, Jean, but... we still got that elevator and top floor to have a look at. I would feel better leaving this place once we know who we need to be keeping an eye out for. There's enough shady organisations. Well, we know Crown Well, we know Crown didn't trust us enough to get the job done by ourselves because they sent these two. Or, well, we don't know if these are crown. These are blank they slates. Look, they look like him. A lot of things look like him. It's not, I mean, like, like they were like wearing the same. The, out, the outer look was almost identical to him. I and, and those agents we saw with crown. Sorry, I know you weren't there, Ewan. Um, but my money's on crown having said. Next question. How did they get in? Same way we did. Well, they were cloaking, and we noticed something shimmer on the security cam, so I'm assuming they came in the same way we did. They just didn't have a look around upstairs, they went straight downstairs. Wasn't the shimmer in the kit? 
we no, don't want the shimmering ones. I don't think so, no. I think the shimmering ones exist now that we have met them. Inaccurate. All of the entrance doors that we've gone through to get to here have been shut and sealed. We've had to pry our way through or use security or battery. Yeah, but if they... could they... not have been into the facility when I saw them on the mm. camera. Down there, these caves go for God knows how long. I can hear... Unless they had the codes to the doors. Mm. And plus that door was um, busted open, uh, the one that got us down into these tunnels from the generator room. In which case, you need... However, the doors on the floor that we first entered all required the battery unit to be connected to them. No, I know. I'm saying they came in behind us, and then when we were exploring that floor, they went down the stairs. Oh, they went past us? Yeah. Interesting. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that means I, think they were either, I, think, I think they were either already here, they're part of the facility, or they came in from further down those caves. Well, they're here now anyway, so shall we stop discussing this one and try and get back upstairs because you want to check out what we're doing? Fast we do that, no. fast we get out. These, cave, these caves continue. Is further into these caves. There's more of those, I can hear like that buzzing noise, those nice. robot swarm things, you know, those things. This unit and John will not leave this cave without King. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm all for I'm not leaving the kid behind either, but I don't but... want to leave this place and then realize we, you know, I want to leave this place once. So, you know, if we can get if we could find out what the hell's going on here, shed some clues on what the hell happened to him, if there's anything we can do to help him, who's looking for him. If we go, second we go back up top, get back, you know, start being in the public eye again, it, who knows who's going to be gunning for us? The kid's going to be in danger until we know who's gunning for him. We can't. So should we head up, back upstairs now? The, informa the information... Quickly, less likely uh, reinforcements we, are going to come. Yeah, no we one can't else say, find... We can't, we can't say... Uh, uh, firstly, I nod at 413X and, and like, thanks what he said and then i'll say that i don't think it's safe to take mason among too many people where we have no. to try and find somewhere we can take him where there's not lots of people around what about that place we visited with the in the forest interesting he might Placing. be able to do, he, if, given what he can do in nanites he might be able to do some good there Look, I mean, I grew up out in the Badlands. No one really bothers you if you keep your heads down and they're pretty self-contained communities. Like, don't get me wrong, the conflicts kick off. It's not exactly isolated, but it's a damn sight quieter than the city. That forest is pretty out there. Like, it doesn't seem like they've had much interaction with anyone. And it jams radio. Like, we couldn't get a signal out, remember? None of our phones worked. I don't know, about, like, I don't know if any of your fancy gizmo as you look through you know they were working but it seemed there's some sort of technology you know interference or whatever you people call it seems pretty off grid I think that's a pretty good shout my question now is I want to know what's in these caves I don't know what's been going on because it's happened once Who's to say there isn't more kids down here? There's, you know, there's worse stuff. What? My best guess is that, I mean, they've been doing all sorts. I mean, they've clearly been doing all sorts of experimentation with nanites, and they they've found a way to enhance people's abilities using nanites, and they've found, I mean, beyond what is publicly available, I would suggest. It would also appear that they have been experimenting on people who show signs of extraordinary ability to manipulate nanites, like Mason. So, do you guys want to I'll, look I'll at know what's... or go upstairs? Because I think I we to talk and walk. I want to know what's going on here, and then make sure no one else can access what's here. Cool, so we go upstairs, have a look, blow it up, and get one of the ships from the hangar. Unless they don't want to have a nose around these caves first and just to be sure that there's nothing else down here. I don't want anything following us back up or if there's anyone else who needs help or God knows, you know, it could be. So the, um, the nanites that are in the caves are people's, are the last remains of some people. 
I think. I don't feel right leaving him here or leaving this place without knowing what's going on. Like, if there's something we can do to help these people, if they're trapped or if there's more people like this kid here down those, I'm... And if we go back into the facility, we can check that out, but we can't waste too much time because I'm pretty sure we couldn't find, I couldn't find anything on the bodies, but there'll be some indication back to their HQ that they have failed. So we'll be getting some reinforcements soon. So we need to get a move If on. they're connected to anything. I'm Did pretty sure. I didn't find anything, they're blank slates, but we can't assume that they're not connected to anything. Can so we need to get a move on. Stop him receiving or... God, you guys need technology and stuff. There must be something you can do. There's nothing well, indicating what we can do. I... The only person I think that can control the nanites is... And what they're doing to him is, is Kane. Is Mason, sorry. Um, D DM, you know, before when I came down and recognized those nanite swarms as being like military or seen in the military, would yeah. I know if they react poorly to EMP? Uh, earlier versions. I, I might not know how or why, but I might have seen it happen in a war. Depending on the model, EMPs ruined them. But as EMPs are designed to attack exposed or vulnerable. Um, electricity, etc., or power, unshielded, unshielded power. Then you've seen some deflect, some get ruined, depending on when they were made, or brought into play, etc. Okay, I'll go with majority here, but I feel a hell of a lot better at least checking out these rest of these caves and making sure we're not leaving anyone. I'm saying go back up to the thing because that is also our way out. We don't have time to be wandering around a labyrinth. In his current state, Mason can't be moved by any of us. You have the time that it takes to explore these caves till such a time that he is able to be moved by this. Have you tried to move him yet? Oh yeah, I'll let me let me see what happens. I'll uh, I'll take very 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 first. carefully make try and see what happens as I approach him and see whether or not the nanites react to my approaching. They do react very much as a sniffing dog would when they sort of like, like, like wave around him but he's still in a bit of a chrome yeah his ship the uh, shield cell thing I will um they don't react violently they just sort of yeah. react Very. Yeah. um I'll can oh. I have a look and see if that net that got fired earlier is still lying around somewhere? <laughs> can I, uh, can I loop? <laughs> well, you lot of fucking that. Such well, a thinking, wabba. Such instead a wabba. Of picking him up, we'll use a net and sort of suspend him between have a few you, of us. You've seen Predator? Yeah. You've seen Predator 2 where they introduced the net? All right. No. Um, I'll I, uh, based. I'll very, very cautiously continue my hand to like and to try and touch Kane. See if the nanites let me touch him. You get within about six inch, and the nanites leap out and grip you. Give me a mind save. Yeah. At, at disadvantage because you're exhausted. Put Jean down. Sorry, one of them was an eight. Uh, Twelve. All right, we got all the healing we can from him right now. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Use and abuse him. Now we can just end him. You take one point of psychic damage. Okay. But the nanites grab both arms, and you are now essentially stuck or latched to those nanites and Mason. If you move cool. your arms, they move with you, but they don't damage you. Okay. You get the feeling uh, that if you were trap. to scoop him up, <laughs> then you possibly could, but you'd be stuck. That would be your what you're doing. Would I be able to? Would I still be able to use my legs? Yeah, you, you yeah. I well, could carry him. You could carry him, but you'd be latched to him. I will. I will pick him up then. As you scoop, 
he is still encompassed and so are you up to your um, elbows as you're under him and towards like your bicep shoulder area in these it's very very uh, wet cold rather than freezing cold but you can do I indeed make, pick him up. Can I make a attempt to stealthily scout the cave and see you if can I can see the form? Stealth the shit out of what you want, Larry. <laughs> I'm just going to ask if okay. anyone wants to check all the caves in the accompanying areas. Like, I don't want to do this, but split the party. Um, <laughs> like, do it down here. Rest of us go upstairs, we meet at the hangar in an hour, and then we're gone. The thing is, we don't have an answer. There's not necessarily going to be anything at the hangar. We have to account that it's not just going to be as easy as we get out, get something, and fly off. It's the best option at the moment. What there might was be our... something... Go on, Philip, what were you saying? What was our mission, John? Retrieve something here for uh, Crown. What did the information say about gems? Jewel, wasn't it? Called, Project um, Gems. Project Gemstone. Good name, Project Gemstone. I think that's where oh. all these nanites have come from. Are we sure Mason here is Project Gemstone? Because if he's not, we need to find it. He, oh, I'm not, I'm he wasn't gone. in the same data. He was a... Project Kane was a different data that you retrieved from, well, that Ryan gave you, mate. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I, the data that I have on, that I had from his father doesn't mention Project Gemstone. Okay. And, and vice versa. Um, oh, vice versa. Okay. Right. So, I, understand, I understand why you've kept, you know, things to yourself, like your friends and things, but is there anything else we need to know before this goes any further? Doing the job for I don't free. Know, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, if we came down here on good faith, thought we'd been straight up with each other. And if you knew that there's going to be a kid down here, or you knew stuff you weren't letting on. Right now, that doesn't matter. We can have a we can have a chat about this on the way back. It doesn't matter. Uh, so right now, uh, I want to see if there's any more. Yeah, I want to see if there's any more kids around. On. You go upstairs and meet us at the security room. Me and Larry are going to hunt down here for a bit more. Okay. If you go upstairs, and if we're not there in two hours, do whatever you like. You need to, we need to find Project Gemstone. I'll grab A13X's arm as he's leaving and just make him aware. Driver side door, tripwire on the car. I think, I think Project Gemstone has got something to do with them. Yeah. Just got, just got feel. They are gemstones. They appear to be, in some way, they they are life pods that appear to be containing nanites that have people's memories in. And um, you'll get that information upstairs in the office. Go up the yeah, elevator if we have enough time. Yeah. You've got two hours. Okay. And me and Larry, all I'm assuming, unless Larry's got anything else to say, Larry, we'll head off. Slightly further in, I'll hand you a crowbar <laughs> and a cat five. <laughs> it's tied to the end at this point, it's like a flail. Four one three X, John, you and Mason all going upstairs, correct? Yep. Philip and Larry, you're going to continue downstairs. Yep. So, Philip and Larry, I want to just just kind of scowl and just kind of cautiously nose you can just see what's ahead and see what we can see without causing too much attention to ourselves so either both give me an investigation roll or one of you at advantage you seem a little bit better at sort of figuring things out he's not that sort of investigator <laughs> we still have one re-roll left uh, yeah, so like you roll four dice <laughs> to make sure this party splits. <laughs> so what did you get? Investigation. Um, nat twenty, so twenty-two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. <laughs> good boy. I tried. 
<laughs> so these lot disappear back through the tunneling system um, and you're heading your way back towards the generator room and then the spiraling uh, stairs a mile up yep Larry and Philip as you are moving around and checking all the little crevices and any signs of anything uh, you know else going on you you do find more and more of these like amber amber like strange amber pods with these weird little nanite serpents in them and you do mainly yourself Philip just being you know some form of hacker in some past life you do notice that where Jean had had to pop one of the pods out and to discover the cable and you can see bits where some of the red rock has, is a bit softer and crumbled away it's drier and crumbles easily as you're just moving your hands around the area of these pods and you can see that the tiny little uh, really thin thinner than fibre uh, wiring goes off into deeper into the rock looking around it's as though imagine you had a spider's web yeah or a webbing of something and you got loads of really soft compact clay and you pressed it all around the web so it protected the web and allowed it to still be itself but it gave it a bit of a that's what it feels like around here like this wiring is here or it hung free or whatever and they've kind of packed it rather than use you know brick and mortar and steel sheeting and build a facility they've used the naturalness of the of the mountain does the cabling look organic or does it look like organic made? it looks organic and the holes and crevices and such in it look like they've been dug via you know tools or um enormous bugs but you know what i mean uh, everywhere's naturally formed or molded rather than uh crafted which way do these cables kind of is there a general direction that they, in, all lead? they all just go into the rock so that you reckon if you stood back so after after you both having a looking around and kind of passing notes and stuff you kind of go stand back in the middle of the the huge cave that you were just in doing the fighting and as you look up and around you have a bit of that you know out of body see through your eyes moment where you were <laughs> where if you were to take away the um all the red rock of the mountain you just have a mass of webbed uh, not webbed but a massive web-like uh vision or visual of all these cables going to all these different amber pods and you saw and you both kind of had the same oh that's what it looked like without all this here it was a central point it does feel very tree like you know the old fiber optic lamps where they just yeah. open it feels very much like that based on that kind of spatial awareness could we make an edge like do we know roughly where the trunk would be deep as such a lot of the crevices around you there are some that obviously go up in the dome you're in but there are some that drop straight down that you can't see beyond your 60 feet um sure. there are some that slant a, a downward gradient you know, so there is, I mean, you don't even have to be overly intelligent to click that it does go deeper in. Whatever this is, is massive and is part of at least the immediate area of the mountain you're in. Bearing in mind, Olympus Mon is like five times the size of Everest. These things are in here and they've been mining them out or, you know, no clue. I wouldn't know where to start with this, mm. honestly. I well. Give, uh, give me. You can actually, Mister Hacker. Give me a computing mm. roll. We'll see. What's highest yeah, for you, computing or engineering? They're only computing. Computing. Then give me a computing roll. Uh, can you use a ray roll? If you want. <laughs> no rerolls, but uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. So, when 
when Larry asks, what did you just ask, Larry? <laughs> Larry. I asked if we knew like where if it was like a central there, trunk to everything. There you go. So I, I know I, I know something triggered me. So when Larry says that, you start mapping it out as if you would um, a network before you hacked it, or vulnerable points and such, and you start seeing the layout of it all around you. And you reckon that the from where these are now, it can't be that far away from a central a central hub or either you know either a, a hop to another place. But it, there's got to be something close, or at least you get a gut feeling that closer uh, there would be a thicker collective of this for it just to work logically in your hacker mind. Would I be thinking if it's up or down? It would be down. It would be down because these look like they've branched up. Okay. Um, How far you don't I'll... know, but you are pretty confident that it would be, you know, it'd have to be in your mind. It doesn't make sense for it to be too far away because the further away that thicker area would be, the more fragile and less substantial these would be if the red rock fell away do you make that information known for them <clears throat> yeah i'll, I'll let that know um, get the crowbar and start start if i see one going into the ground i want to like scrape away and see if i can only maybe a foot or so just to see if it unveils anything just give me an athletics check Twenty-six. You get about, you get to the full length of the crowbar, um, in, in a single just stabbing, just to start the dig, and it goes tuk kunk and it hits something metal, and the crowbar's yeah. what about this big, so you're about two feet deep, and it hits something metallic. I'll dig down to whatever it was. It'll take you about five minutes to dig away. Yeah. You scoop out a bit of a channel in the in the red rock but if you it's not it's not a tough dig at all this week on time team <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's toot and carbon there you go he's a real person <laughs> <laughs> and uh it's a thick cable like it's the protective shell of a thick cable and it goes deep further down and you uncover about maybe six feet of it Tunneling away. I'm guessing and this, it, uh, this metal casing looks not like that looks like it's man made. Also, this is oh yes, definitely built. yeah yeah it's been built. Again, a lot of the red rock you're seeing around where you are seems to have been packed around or brought from like it's like they've there's a weird amalgamation of it. Are there any of these like organic or natural fibers going into the? like non-organic cable not that you that can visibly see one. but when you look around and trace where you see these life pods these nanite uh, amber pods it would make sense that they would eventually meet and and traverse a uh, single cable rather than risk such fragility which is a real word I checked oh. the hell uh, are there any like lettering markings like access point five of whatever there are no serial numbers or anything you can see on the pipe exposed but nearer the end bit where it goes deeper you do see an access panel i'll flip the access panel cool there are i'll two. hand you a cat five cable <laughs> boom it all comes together kids <laughs> not even cat six for fuck's sake 2185 so uh, yeah, there are two access ports of which you have the relevant adapters for being a hacker. Well, having a hacking kit. Uh, I'll turn around to Larry and be like, if if anything doesn't look right, I got you. Try and either a get me the fuck out of here, <laughs> pull me away from it, or just leave. 
if if you can't get me out of this. And uh, I, I didn't think this was doing. This could be useful. I wouldn't ask you to do it, but there could oh. be more. There could be more people in similar shit states like this, right? I, I'll plug in. Cool. Can I hold an action to? You don't. Are you, you physically? Can get, are you physically connecting yourself in? It will be like? through. He the has a he has a small jump. device, and then he's gonna. Okay. Can I? Can I basically read him myself? Like, if something happens, I can just basically push him, or, like, grab yeah, you, him, yeah, and pull yeah, him away. Yeah. You don't have to. Yeah. Roll initiative. You know, oh, I mean, like, not, not whole action as such, but get ready to it, like a. How how long is this cat five cable? Right, a couple of feet. Right, ten feet. I'll wrap it around my waist and be. Like, I'll, I'll get I'll get Larry to hold it. <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going, that, but all right. <laughs> I'm strength 20. You're going you're gonna to be pulled out, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. In half, mate, if you've got a cat fight around you. Um, <laughs> like cheese on a board. As you... Oh, that's grim. As you um, as you plug in and you pop open the, uh, the uh, interface on your uh, hacking device, it just asks you for um, a uh, username and password. Quite simply, I couldn't think of the terminology then. Access account. It just beeps. <clears throat> so the most basic of computing you've ever seen. It's nothing wonderful and fancy. Do you attempt to hack the username and password, or guess the username and password <laughs> of an ancient? <laughs> Alien oh. civilization. <laughs> what's oh, alien? What's alien language Martian for password one two three? Yeah. Uh, dot slash administrator <laughs> password one. You in? I'll try and hack it. Give me a hack. I'll right click page info. <laughs> Check under Just the command. keyboard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just Win <laughs> Windows XP boots up. <laughs> you wish. Yeah, I'll try and hack it. Go on and give me a hack and roll. Are you guys out of rerolls? Yeah. Oh dear. What did that's, you get? This yeah. is Billy. Eight. Oh. oh and that's good. the bed. That's six. Oh shit, the bed. <laughs> and I will say, Larry, not a chance can you give him advantage on a hack and roll. No, I'm <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> push that button there, mate. <laughs> if anything, I'm I, a I, I am a zero technology <laughs> modifier, zero computing. Modifier. Oh, 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 oh. We've just been told to wait. Oh, now right. I said oh. to wait. It's too late. There's oh. a delay. So. Ah. Can you give me a mind save, please? Yeah. We've got a reroll! We've got a reroll! 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 So late, you can save it for the mind save. Uh, 15. 15. Cool. As you start tapping in uh, and you fail to hack the thing, but you do succeed on your mind save, so that's okay. You do not take in a horrific amount of psychic damage. However, okay. Larry. The Cat 5 cable goes slack as Philip is no longer on the other end of it. As he disappears <laughs> before your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> this is gonna. I've got go some explaining to do in a second, haven't I? <laughs> Philip. Don't worry, Larry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, okay. Ooh. Philip, there yeah. is a. <laughs> you're a. <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> you, um. Exactly when you try to hack the spaceship and it went wrong, and you, you got a bit of a whooping, that's exactly the same feeling that you felt assail your mind, which you're used to being not that kind of hacker. But you, you resist it in this moment. And you're kind of glad of it because it means that you are now aware of your surroundings and your surroundings are deep beneath the water you look up and all around you as if you are in the middle of the ocean you can just see the flickering of light above the surface of the water and everywhere around you is a deep deep blue coming towards you just casually floating in the water is a feminine form with long Strand, strands of blue hair and the thing you notice about her as she comes towards you is her eyes are the purest sapphire 
And there we shall leave the session. As oh. Philip is now in Barbados. <laughs> and now on a beach. <laughs> is it Sapphire? As, as, as Larry, who has absolutely zero idea of computing, is like, what did I do? What the <laughs> fuck just happened? Like, did. Did I put him just in the matrix? The... He's in the cable! <laughs> <laughs> just talking to a cat five. <laughs> and we go upstairs. Guys, what happened to God. Philip? <laughs> it's like, what's his face? It's Space Jam oh, looking God. for Michael Jordan talking at the golf hole. <laughs> um, 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 Philip, we need to go now, mate. Um, <laughs> it's, been, it's, been like, it's been like an hour and 55 minutes, mate. We need to go meet him. Like, <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I was going to put, eyes. Was gonna put Google eyes in a cat five cable. I keep calling Philip. <laughs> Where's Philip? He's, He's here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, uh, not me. <laughs> with, my with my intimidation modifiers, I can make you believe it. <laughs> on the plus side, though, on the plus fair. side, um, Larry doesn't have any form of communication with people upstairs. I have no, I'm not tied into your grid at all. <laughs> so Larry's got to run. <laughs> how, oh, just as a note, we're making a bit. How long since they left? How much time has elapsed to, up to that point? Roll me a D4. At least 15 minutes. Roll a D4. Please don't tell me this is hours. Three hours! <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry wanders the waste of Mars forever. I was going to say, he's got to be... One, five five one on a D4. 30 yeah, minutes. if we go another hour, he'll give, give five subs. 30 okay, minutes, 30 minutes. What? What did Dwarf Warrior say? I will, give you, I will give five subs if you go one more hour. It's such a prick. <laughs> yeah, but, no, because because there's no way Ad ever thought we were going to dig up Mars, so he's got to go and work out what the hell happens now. I don't think Four he thought foreign. we were going to survive. You, you'll just have to wait until next time we're on. So you know you're going to have to keep tuning in. Oh, that's uh, yeah. that's two weeks. Same yeah. bad time, same bad channel. <laughs> Because apparently there's some kind of foosball thing on next so, Thursday. Let's, yeah. let's wrap up, otherwise we're going to take an hour. So next Thursday we won't be on. <laughs> just me and um, Nathan will be hurling abuse at each other for 90 minutes. Um, probably 94. I'm going to mute the chat. <laughs> probably 94, <laughs> yeah. Um, but thank you very much. We are. Um, oh, it's been great having you all watch. Uh, it's been cool rushing along. I'm glad that we got another session in and we're going. Uh, I'm really glad they split the party. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my little, my little, uh, two more sessions. my little uh, notes of what if, and I'll get in, like, in front at them. So that's really cool. Thank you, thank you, Phil, and thank you for running out of rerolls. Unlucky dwarf warrior. By the way, them two hundred bits wasted, but I'm keeping it anyway. So fuck you. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> uh, thanks for joining in, kids. Uh, we'll <coughs> see you all shortly. Uh, we've got D and D fifth head for Ram the Frost Maiden on tomorrow. If you want to come and watch us do some of that. Saturday we got be a good one. It's going to be good. Saturday we've got Pathfinder Second Edition. And That's going to be better. Uh, and Sunday we've got Dyson and Beholder rocking out there as well. <laughs> nah. So if you like, uh, and, and a week, a week, there might be something. There might be something next Wednesday. Uh, next, if Rob speaks next, to you properly. Next Wednesday we may, we may, we probably are, we definitely are um, streaming <laughs> Tales of the Loop. So uh, tune in for that as uh, Rob, aka Arcane, will be running that for a bunch of lovely coconuts. So. Can yeah. I do a quick plug for looking for players for the bits I've got going on? No. Um, so it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Go for a <laughs> um, We've got a couple of series of one shots coming up, um, set kind of around the Ram the Frost Maiden party. Um, we're looking for uh, anyone who wants to get involved with one shots. We're at a level 10 characters in D&D 5th Ed. If anyone is interested in jumping in and is happy to be uh, on mm -hmm. Zoom and on recordings and on, and on stream, uh, get in touch uh, through Facebook or through the Discord or however you want to get in touch. And we can have a chat and try and get some people involved. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Cool. Right. We're off. Have, have we got a new player joining us on Saturday? Uh, this Saturday, I'll have to talk to her and find out if she's free. Mm, okay. Mysterious. <laughs> so, yeah, right. For now, players, say goodbye, players. Bye. Bye, goodbye, players. Bye. Have a beautiful time. <laughs>